It's an interesting question. You've answered some of the things. What is your penchant for risk, high or low? If you want low, don't expect a very high return. If, you are, if someone tells you that you can invest 100 million in a business that's going to give you 35% interest, there's certainly going to be an element of risk in that business. Otherwise, they're conning you. That's what I think. If someone's offering you 10% in a business, I'd say put it in a treasury bill. There will be no risk and a government instrument, it's safe and you get your 10%. So it depends where, how big your appetite is for risk. If you have a high appetite for risk, go into a business. Someone doing business, let's say in Chikubo with 100 million shillings, he should be able to make 20% per month. Because you can buy goods, whether from Kenya or from Dubai, and mark them up by 20% as a profit. And that kind of business is sustainable, 20% profit per month. So in a year, 20% rolled over, say, if you can sell the goods within that cycle every month, you're selling the same goods, you can roll that over 10 or 12 times in a year. So you're getting over 200%. That's a good business to get into. But remember, there are risks. These people are doing that kind of business. I know many traders were bringing goods like cement from Kenya some time ago before our cement industries had picked up. And they were doing about 10%. But they'd bring the truck in of cement and they could sell it in two days. So they're making 10% every two days. Now that rolled over throughout the year. It's great business. So the margins look small on a bag of cement because you buy a bag of, say, 20,000 shillings and you're making only 2,000 shillings. But you're rolling it every day. And that's how the Chikubu people grew in business. And today everyone says, these guys in Chikubu are not very educated, but they are very rich. How did they do it? They stuck to a simple formula. Small cycle, trading cycle, one day, two days, the goods are turned over, small margin. But they do that throughout and they focus, they specialize. Whether it is sugar or it's salt, whatever commodity you're buying, whether it's cooking oil or school, school bags for children, exercise books, you look at your margin and you try to turn over quickly. That cycle for trade. Now, somebody who says, I'm going to China to bring the goods, you lose a lot of time in shipping. You probably buy the goods cheaper than the guy buying from Kenya. But your trading cycle, how long does it take you to sell those goods? Assume you bring tires for tractors, let's say, or, or tires for a lorry or on buses. You bring those tires in, they'll take you three months to sell that container of tires. So your cycle is much bigger. It takes longer to sell. And you can only do three or four cycles in a year. So much as you're making maybe 20% margin, you can only turn that money around three or four times. Now look at someone who buys airtime. If you buy airtime as a dealer and you sell that airtime within two days, you're cycling every two days. So even if you're doing 2% as net margin, Every two days, that's 2% 2 times 360 days, the number of days you work, if you choose to work 360 days. So you can understand why I was working 365 days. Make sure that I, I turn that turn around all the time. So there are certain businesses you've got to choose where you want to be. And 100 million is a respectable amount of money to get into a business. But you've got to have your eyes on it because everybody else has their eye on your 100 million. What do they take away from you?